As the video begins, we see a side view of a split system with a furnace installed vertically in a basement. When the homeowner goes to the thermostat, he or she raises the temperature from 66 to 72 degrees. As a cutaway view of the furnace is shown, the draft inducer is engaged and begins to draw ambient air through the system to provide oxygen for combustion and to vent the combustion gases safely out of the house while the furnace is running. Fuel, in this case natural gas provided by the utility company, passes through the gas valve and is then distributed to the individual burners through the manifold. Ignition occurs and that heated gas begins to heat up the individual tubes that together make up the serpentine-shaped heat exchanger. These combustion gases are drawn up through the heat exchanger by the draft inducer and begin to lose some heat as they travel the length of the exchanger. The heat exchanger is designed so that return air being drawn from the home is blown between and across the individual tubes where the heat is transferred without the air mixing with the toxic combustion gases. And we see that the inducer is pulling those combustion gases up and into the flue where they are ultimately expelled from the home. As the blower motor begins to turn, it removes cool air from the home through the return registers and blows that air across the heat exchanger tubes. As the air passes through the heat exchanger, the heat transfers to the passing air and then is distributed via the supply ductwork and registers to the inside of the home until the temperature set at the thermostat has been satisfied. 